fucking takeover of Man United. So the takeover news so far isn't good. Like I said before, I need to maybe protect my mental health and not check news concerning Man United potential sale or takeover anytime soon because it looks like there's no movement. Shake Chessy um put it to put out an ultimatum essentially saying, Hey, my final bid that I'm submitting is this and you have a deadline until Friday. The table the offer's still on the table, but I'm not gonna submit nothing else. You have until Friday to let me know what I want. And of course the fucking glazers, those leeches, those flipping cockroaches, um, haven't replied or said anything because the my feeling and a lot of feelings of the fans is that they would much rather not sell the club in full they'd much rather sell the club um you know uh sell a portion of the club to somebody like a Jim Ratcliffe and then get the op option to stay on still pull out dividends and earn a salary from the club whatever it may be and then later on down the line sell whatever remaining stock they have for more so if you sell 60 percent now um for four billion you can just potentially if you know things work out the way you need you could potentially sell the other 40 percent for three billion so you could essentially make more than what they actually had listed the club for because i think the fee that they kind of wanted was like five billion so at the moment it's looking crazy because i'm one of the fans who thinks like we need a full clean break we need the glazers gone and a restart because clearly the glazers have shown in their tenure at united that they don't have a clue what they're doing the bankers that they employed are fucking hopeless we move like a fucking tortoise once it comes to you know, doing business and with the summer transfer window, you know, already open and clubs already maneuvering and signing up the big talents and, you know, the competition and league being the way it is and Europe being very competitive and blah, 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 blah. You would think that we need a clean break to just get things started. Like, but for some reason, it's not the case. We're still here twiddling our thumbs, waiting for the fucking Glazers to decide when they're going to sell, if they're going to sell. And so far, the update isn't good. So this is courtesy of BBC News that says the Maniac Takeover um, club owner spoke to PSG chairman um, about Sheikh Jassim's bid, um, Hamad al Tayin's bid. Um, so essentially they're saying that the Glazers spoke to the PSG owners to try and get them to pressure Sheikh Jassim to offer more, to get into some bidding war. But my kind of gut feeling is that they were never going to sell to Sheikh Jassim anyway. They would much rather sell to Jim Ratcliffe, give up partial ownership, um, get loads of money, quote unquote, to invest and then sell the rest of the the stuff that they have left in ownership or shares later on down the line for more than what is probably valued for now. Um, the story goes as follows. Uh, Mayor BBC Sport has to be told that it was instigated by the Glazers who have known the Qatari Al Khalifi for years. Sheikh Jassim and Jim Ratcliffe and Yos Group are competing to buy the club. The Qatari banker made a fifth and offer this week with a warning that he would not engage with the process beyond Friday. Um, it is privately being claimed that the conversation did not work as the bid for the full takeover was not increased, but it's been reported that Al Khalifi has also met with the Rain Group, which is handling the sale process, although this is being denied by the source close to the PSG's chairman. Those same sources also adamant that El Khalifi has no role, either officially or unofficially in the United, and the bid is completely separate to PSG. I made a suggestion from other clubs that want any sale of the Sheikh Jassim to fully be investigated due to a feeling that it will be centrally funded by Qatar. Concerns have previously been expressed around the potential conflicts of the interest with El Khalifi's club role, and he stated as chairman of the Influential European Clubs Association and his close relationship with the EFA president, Alexander Serafin. Sources close to Sheikh Jassim have repeatedly claimed that proposed purchase is being made in private capacity. It has been established that El Khalifi has spoken to Sheikh Jassim to offer his experience around the running of a European club. It's not expected Sheikh Jassim will make any statement around the self-imposed Friday deadline, and he's not intended to withdraw from his bid. So, so far... It's not looking good. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to have to protect my mental health and just not check this news too much, but I can't help it. I'm a fucking fan and I want the Glazers gone. I feel like they've flipping been a hindrance to the progress of this club for a very, very long time and will legitimately go down as one of the worst football owners of all time. What they've done to my you know, beloved club is nothing short of gross negligence and they should be tried in the fucking Hague for the crimes against football. But hey, what do I know?